episode Zero Turnover Podcast. Got my co-host today, my son, and man. <laughs> Got my son. What's up, man? What's up, man? Finally got you on the podcast. He's a busy man, you know. Finally got him on the podcast, man. Shout out Summit Spring, man. You know, sponsoring the podcast. Mm. Mm. So good, so good. Yo, I'm actually hot right now, burning up. I just played five games back to back against this guy, you feel me? Gave him the work, yeah, man. Gave him that work, you feel me? But um, how you feel? Let's talk about father, sons, and basketball. You know, Bronny just, yeah. <laughs> Brownie recently just made it to the league, you feel me? How you feel about a father and a son playing together? How you feel about that? I feel it's, it's I feel like it's gonna have good they gonna have good chemistry. And I feel like they gonna have like if Brownie mess up, his his dad gonna be on him. More than his coach gonna be on him. That's why I feel like it's gonna happen. I don't know. You know you know just how like when we be playing, how it is like fun but you still learning. I think like him just growing up as the greatest basketball player to be his father. Like, I think they're gonna have a lot of fun on the court. They're gonna they're gonna be able to read each other, like read each other's mind when it comes to plays. And I think it's gonna be really exciting, really different. I don't think it's gonna be hard because I mean LeBron, he always been like, I feel like. A pass first player, like he want to get his team involved. He ain't really too much like he could take over any time, but he be really trying to get the team involved and all that. So I, I'm looking forward to seeing it, man. I'm looking forward to. Seeing it. I don't think we ever seen this before. A father and son playing in the league together. First in history. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So um, so what's up? What's what's up? You ain't playing ball this summer. I don't know yet. You don't know yet? Mostly still... football. Football. Okay, you're in football. So let's talk about some football, man. What's going on in the football league? You know, of course, you know, we uh, we 100% Ravens over here. Him too. He, he a Raven too. You know. Don't say no, because I'm going to put up. I could put your baby picture in the back when you had all the Raven stuff on and all that. I could do that. I could do that. You feel me? No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. So how you feeling about yeah, man sports right now? Feeling good. I'm feeling. Oh, like- let's take a break though. Oh, God, <laughs> so so who you rooting for for the, uh, in the football season this year? This year. Who you who you realistically got going all the way to the Super Bowl this year? To the Super Bowl this year, I feel like the Bills have a chance with their new pick, Keon Coleman. Okay. And I feel like if Tank Dell and CJ Stroud really get more of a connection, mm-hmm. the um, Texans could probably make it to a contender. Well, you know, I'm going 100% with the Ravens. You feel me? You know how we get down. Ravens doing good. The Orioles doing fantastic. I don't know if you are uh, up with the basketball. I mean, excuse me, with the baseball, if you know, if you've been watching baseball. Nah, y'all ain't getting the baseball. We got to take you to the game. The game's been lit lately. Orioles been winning everything, blowing people out. It's a different type of energy. So, I feel like as far as Baltimore City goes, I think baseball and football, I think it's going to be pretty much on lock this year. Um... What else? Um, the draft, the draft happened, you know. So we got a new crop of NBA stars, you know, potentially coming through. You know, replacing the older guys, man. The older guys are getting replaced. Um, the LeBrons, the Katies, the, the Stephen Currys, you know, they're getting older. So as far as new talent that's coming in, who who you like? Who you like? A, a big spotlight I like from this draft season, I mean, this draft, is Rob Dillingham. Okay. One of my favorite players 
OTE, high school, AAU, EYBL, mm -hmm. college, love, Rob Dylan here. Real inspirational. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay. I don't know. We got a lot of uh, a lot of new talent, but then I'm looking forward to seeing what's going on. I've been watching a lot of the WNBA too. Uh, you know, the females they've been doing their thing. Angel Reese, the Caitlin Clarks. Like the women really been stepping it up as far as just getting them, getting that, you know, getting that recognition. Cause you know uh, your grandmother, you know she she played basketball. Both your grandmothers played basketball, but on at least on you know on my side, speaking from you know what I know, my mother played basketball, and she used to watch you know the WNBA and all that when I was younger. So she was exposing me to the the Lisa Leslies, the Cheryl Swoops. You know the women been balling for a long time, but now it's like they're getting. You know, getting the recognition, they're getting the TV spots, the TV deals. You know, they're starting to make some more money. People coming out to the game, celebrities, the tickets, the tickets costs going up. So the women, hey man, it's going to be, it looks like it's going to be a good future for women basketball. I've been seeing a couple of women on, um, Instagram dunking now yeah. and all that. All the ads and stuff. Right. Seeing them dunking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Off lobs and everything. Yeah, so I feel like the women, yeah, man, the women, they doing good, man. They looking good, man. And um, as far as local sports, they just had the um the junior NBA um draft over at the dome. I'm gonna put up the highlights in the back so y'all can see that. But yeah, so you know, looking forward to covering the junior NBA draft this summer. You know, doing some work. You know, of course, summit spring gonna be in the building, keeping everybody hydrated and everything. Yo, what happened with your school? What happened to the little the basketball league for the parents, man? That would have been lit. I don't know. I guess not enough people sign, not enough adults signed up. Come on, y'all. Oh, Nick. Yeah, man. <laughs> Come on, man. Okay. Listen, man. I'm looking forward to tearing up some people's parents, man. Come on, man. Register, man. Come on. Let's get active, man. Let's get active with the kids, man. Stay in shape, man. I seen a lot of parents, man. Y'all wasn't looking in shape, man. What was uh, Daddy Donuts with Dad Day? I was looking at them fathers, man. Y'all looking kind of out of shape, man. I said, man, this going to be good. <laughs> I'll probably be dunking on somebody. But, man, yeah, man, that'd be nice, man. They get the league, get, they get the league together and everything. Dunking? Y'all be hating on me, man. But he be telling people, oh, I done dropped my father. I done did, did, did that. Fabricating, man. Like. Let me live, man. I'm LeBron. You Bronny, bro. <laughs> yeah, let me live, man. You gotta let me live, man. So I just wanted, to, man. Just wanted to do a quick little update, man. Just get a little update. Yeah, man. Show some, um, show some highlights and everything from the past, from the past weekend. But we got a lot of sports coming this weekend. You know, football league. You know, we're going to be out there with the camera. How you been feeling about the little preseason that y'all had, man? Yeah, I feel good. Y'all fighting and all type of stuff, man. But, <laughs> man. Preseason been good. I want to take it back to last season. We went, We had a lot of achievement, achievements because our team wasn't the best before the last season. But... Coming into that season, I feel like we did a lot better. We won the Elijah Ball champions, the Turkey Ball champions, Spring Ball runner-up. I feel like we made a lot of big achievements and big, bigger steps to the real season championship. Okay, 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 okay. But you know what I don't like, though? Yo, I don't know. It's just a lot of a lot of whining, like a lot of crying, like, <laughs> like... Like, like, if you don't make a play, like, you know, I feel like if you don't make a play, you just get back out there, you feel me, and try to, you know, be better the next play. But 
I've been seeing a lot of crying, a lot of whining, a lot, you know what I mean? Like, like, just, I feel like just play more. And I ain't, I'm just talking about the, as kids as a whole, because I've been noticing it, because, you know, I be around other leagues and other players, other teams, and I be watching, like, like, just play more, have more fun, and leave the emotions out of it, you feel me? Like, all that fighting and all that stuff is like, do that during the game, like, you feel me? Like, you feel like, all right, yeah, man, get back at him. Like, I'm going to get an interception, or I'm going I'm to get a tack, or I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. Don't wait till the game over and say, all right, I'm going to. I'm gonna win in a fight. Like, no, like, that's not gonna change the outcome of the game. Like, so just put all that energy. If you had a bad week, if you had a good week, whatever, just put all that energy into the game. Leave it on the field. You feel me? Get it all out on the field. And just have fun, man, because it's levels. You feel me, y'all? Yeah, man. You're gonna get older. The players gonna get bigger. The players gonna get faster. And if you don't know how to control your emotions and control, you know, just how you react to things, you're not going to really be an elite player because you're not going to be focused. You're going to be distracted easily, you feel me? You're going to be in your feelings. You might take plays off and all this, you feel me? Like, so just, you know what I mean? Just tight, tighten up. Just have fun, man. Yeah, man. Listen to the coach. Even some, you know, even sometimes a coach be, you know, loud or aggressive and all that. But, you know, they're just trying to, you know, they know they got a short time amount of time, you know, with kids, you know, before, you know, y'all grow up and move on. But, you know what I mean? Just, you know what I mean? Pick, take the good out, take the good out of it. Even with the bad, turn, turn the bad to good. Like, use it, use everything, you feel me? Yeah, man, y'all. Y'all on y'all way to be growing up to be men. You gonna have your own son in the future, you feel me? So, and man, it's, the world is really go like this in a circle, man. So it's like, you only young one time. You just gotta have fun, live it up, man. But um, anything you else you wanna add? Not really. Shout out to our sponsors. Shout out to our sponsors, man. Summit Spring, Maine. You feel me? And you know, anybody else, you know, any other sponsors that want to tap, man? Shout out Marbany Sport. You know, they tap, you know, they sponsor us, you know, made our jerseys and all that. Any other sponsors, you know, tap, man. We coming for y'all. You feel me? Take care of the kids. The kids going to take care of y'all. So, um, we're going to wrap it up, man. We're going to wrap it up. Yeah, man. Zero turnover podcast. You feel me? Next episode, just, just tune in, man. Tune in. We just getting lit. We just getting everything in order. You know, it's summertime. The kids are everywhere, but we gonna get everything in order. You know, get y'all some good, some good content, good shows, good highlights, man. Zero turnover podcast.